I mean, there is a character named Arthur in it. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Chain Theory. Today, we discuss Cursed Season 1. Cursed stars Katherine Langford as Nimue, a fae sorceress, David Terrell as Arthur, and Gustav Skarsgård as Merlin. The series is based on an illustrated novel of the same name by Frank Miller and Tom Wheeler. It's promoted as a fantasy retelling of Arthurian legend, specifically the Lady of the Lake tale. However, the story itself is actually quite different. When we meet these characters, Nimue is a fae with magical abilities she can scarce control, let alone her temper. Arthur is an orphaned turned mercenary who wants to be a knight, and Merlin is a clever but powerless drunkard who spends most of the time depressed and alone. Aside from a few familiar names, the show doesn't seem to have much to do with the actual lore, and that's become a common trope in Hollywood. Instead of creating and promoting new content on its own merit, existing titles of beloved stories are now repurposed for the promotion of something entirely different, often to push a particular agenda or some political narrative. So taking the story out of that context, taking it on its own, not as Arthurian legend, but just as a new CW-esque young adult modern slash medieval fantasy series, it's actually quite reminiscent of shows like Merlin, Rain, and the Shannara Chronicles. Like those, Curse is beautiful to look at in terms of its rich color scheme. It's well lit and well shot. The music is also really good, and it has everything going for it in terms of casting. I actually wasn't particularly bothered by the race-blind casting overall. Once I separated it from the lore and began to treat the story as taking place in a sort of alternate universe. However, the decision to race swap what is probably the worst iteration of author ever isn't lost on me. Still, the main problem I have with the series and what distinguishes it so much from the others that I mentioned is the writing. I've watched this entire series twice because I could barely get through the first few episodes the first time. The plot is boring and convoluted. It's muddied by unclear character motivations and uninteresting dialogue. And there are these ridiculous subplots that lead to absolutely nothing. Not to mention that, aside from the main characters, new characters are regularly introduced without much explanation or purpose, and many are killed off quickly thereafter. It's just a mess storytelling wise, leaving behind a series that is all style and very little substance. So unfortunately, this isn't a series I would recommend. The quality of the trailer is really misleading when it comes to the actual story because the trailer looks good <laughs> and the story just isn't. But hey, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. What's your favorite version of the Arthurian legend? Mine is probably King Arthur, the 2004 film directed by Antoine Fuqua and starring Clive Owen and Keira Knightley. If you want to see a King Arthur film or show, I would recommend that one. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week.